Welcome back. Well, another unsettled weather day. More the same as we move forward. Got a new week, but the same old weather pattern. So let's get over to the key wall, discuss our rain chances here as we move forward. And again, we're talking uh, rain chances pretty high in the at least scattered category going to widespread more than likely. And it's going to be kind of a day night affair. We're keeping those rain chances uh, somewhat elevated during the nighttime hours. Hopefully the pattern eases a little bit toward the end of the week, but on the plus side, it has been keeping us cooler, but we've been awfully wet once again. Here's a look at the plots on your major times for rainfall. Once again, as we look at Jennings, Lafayette, all color coded here, Opelousas, New Iberia, Morgan City, and can see as we head toward tomorrow morning, uh, like the last several mornings in a uh, tropical atmosphere, we see usually our highest rain chances morning through early afternoon hours. And then things gradually calm down last night. We still had active storms through the evening hours. And then as we move forward into Tuesday and Wednesday, it looks like deeper tropical moisture moving in, so our rain chances only going up after tomorrow. And tomorrow we're starting at 60%. We'll be in the 80% range for likely Tuesday, Wednesday, perhaps Wednesday. It's all being created by an upper level low that's off to our north, but we have a weakness in the atmosphere right across the region, and we have these little disturbances moving through the bottom end of this upper trough, interacting with the deep tropical moisture. So we get scattered storms across the area this afternoon, and uh, also activity can happen during. In the nighttime hours in this type of uh, type of tropical uh, setup. Now, not a whole lot in the way of severe weather threats, but with that being said, locally heavy downpours, frequent cloud to ground lightning, and occasionally these storms do pop up and go briefly severe for about five minutes or so, uh, and then they kind of fall apart. And those are the same ones that usually produce the funnel clouds, and that is most likely to happen if we see it in the days ahead. Mid morning hours is a prime time for any tropical funnels, none of them reaching the ground at least of late, but uh, we'll keep an eye on things. You can see scattered activity right now along and north of the I-10 corridor from Acadia Parish into uh, St. Landry Parish, where we have some pretty healthy storms. Arneville on westward all the way up through the northern part of the parish, and so it's pouring hard in the, the sunset area just north of Karen Crow across Arneville, and then down toward the Brobridge area. We see activity building in northern Lafayette Parish. Additional activity pretty much near Esterwood here, Crowley, rain, and then moving into Lafayette Parish. We're seeing some outflow boundaries and we're seeing some shower activity kind of firing up uh, from right near the station uh, farther to the north as we get to Karen Crow. Downpours uh, occurring here, coming up, and even on the south side of town. So uh, it's uh, keep the uh, rain gear handy, at least in the near term. We're going to have some action, then things should quiet down. Now, notice the moisture content. Fair bit of red, but it's not super concentrated for tomorrow. But look what happens Tuesday going into Wednesday. And this tropical moisture is not going anywhere. So the day Daily chance of showers and storms, maybe some dry air dust coming in a little bit by the end of the week. But as we go into the weekend, you can see we're not going to shake that deep tropical moisture. A little bit of a front off to the east of us, but we don't get any of that. So unfortunately, we're going to keep the rain chances going. The Weather Prediction Center forecasting three to five inches of rain over the next week across southeast Texas, two to four western Louisiana, one to three for the rest of us. But over a week time, you could easily double or even triple these numbers if you get storms in the right location. So as we look at the graph model here, we'll have activity again by daybreak tomorrow. Notice the model giving us some activity, but not a whole lot for the day tomorrow. That's why we'll hold it at 60%. We move into Tuesday, scattered activity, more coverage across more populated areas and more aerial coverage. And we're going to do it all over again as we head into Wednesday. So keep the rain gear handy. As for rainfall model output, kind of in uh, the ballpark uh, tomorrow, anywhere between a quarter of an inch to an inch or more wherever the storms fester and then you have the next uh, 72 or uh, 48 hours that follow. There's going to be some areas that catch a lot of rain. I don't think we're going to see 10 inch rainfalls, but you get storms over the same locations. You easily pick up three to five inches of rain in a few hours. That's what we saw yesterday across portions of the area. So again, lingering showers and some storms, especially near the coast toward daybreak tomorrow and in the near term. Then tomorrow, 60 to 70 percent chance of your showers and storms locally heavy downpours. Uh, Again, new week, same pattern as we move forward. Those rain chances staying up there at least through Thursday, hopefully toning down a little bit as we head into the weekend and beyond. But we're not shaking those rain chances anytime soon. But on the flip side, it's keeping our temperatures, at least our highs, below normal. And that's the good news. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more a little bit later on.